Who's news? Guys, no joke. This water is ridiculously clear. This is unreal. Happening wanderers, we are here at the first stop of the day at Picture Rocks National Lakeshore. This is Munising Falls. It's very big, it's very loud. As you can see, it's a beautiful, nice waterfall just coming off of a ledge down forming a river. And fortunately, you can't walk behind it, although you see there's ample space to if you would have liked to, but they have that part of the trail closed off, unfortunately. It's a very easy place, a very short hike to get to. Really cool to just stop by and take a look. Really gorgeous and great waterfall to easily include in your trip at Picture Rocks National Life Short. That's stop number one. Let's keep it going. Ooh. What's in the cave? <laughs> All right, wanderers, and we are making our way at the next point on the trail. As you can see, I have VIP treatment right here. The true celebrity that I am. Not the face. And we were just putting some bug spray on because we're a little bit in the wilderness. And keep in mind that during the summer months, it can be really bad with some bugs. Notably, mosquitoes, stable flies, black flies, lots of biting insects that you don't want ruining your hiking experience. Either way, we are just hiking through the woods, making our way towards the coast. We're excited. Let's keep on hiking. So, so far, this hike, which we did from the Little Beaver uh, Lake campground, it's really cool. Lots of changing scenery. You go through some thick, thick forests by some streams with some really cool rock formations along the way. That looks like Bear's home if I've ever seen one. If you want a campsite and don't want to get covered by the rain, That's true. it's a place to go. Although you need a really small tent. Now we're going through a little bit of a green lush tree grove. And eventually we're going to get to a little bit more of an open exposed area. Loving it so far, not too far of a hike. Let's keep on going. Oh, the breeze is so nice. All right, Wanderers, and we have made it to Lake Superior. Finally, we've got a great suite reward. Looks like we're at the ocean, but we're not, guys. It's just one of the five great lakes. We have so much beach to enjoy. It's actually worth a little bit of others, but if you want some solace, you want some solitude, you want to get by yourself, it's as far as the eye can see, really. And the sand is such good quality, guys. Let's go. Look at that. It's a little crib. What do you think, Vanessa? You want to take Gusta? Oh my god, that's mesmerizing. So we're continuing on the path past Little Beaver Lake. We just passed Cove's campground as well. And here I think is the Cove. As you can see, it is absolutely insane. The rock formations, massive. It really reminds me of uh, Torrey Pines out in San Diego with some amazing cliffs right by the water. Guys, no joke, this water is ridiculously clear. And although this isn't the ocean, the water here is a beautiful turquoise, completely transparent and see-through, and the waves are just hitting these little rocks right on the coast, and just little sea caves that you can swim into if you want. And I don't know if this is deep sea diving, guys, but there are literal holes in the floor of this water. It looks like you could just hop right in and see if there's anyone there to join you. Hopefully not. If I had the time, guys, I would jump in this second. 
But I would really recommend stopping by here, spending some time exploring the area and hanging out because we're loving it. We are in love, guys. This is unreal. This is so gorgeous. I'm in love. Tree right here, as you can see, is connected via this root, which by some miracle managed to grow and extend all the way into Lake Michigan to collect fresh water to grow. Look at that. That is a tree root, guys. Nature is unbelievable. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. I'm kidding. So it turns out we got started a little too late on the hike today. We wanted to ultimately continue going along the lakeshore until we reached a waterfall called Spray Falls, which is about 70 feet and empties into Lake Superior. So a gorgeous sight, but the sun is starting to set and there's still another maybe mile or mile and a half. And we just thought it wouldn't be fun to hike all this back in the dark, but we did end up hanging out at that cove for a while. And I was gonna think about cliff jumping. I found a really cool place to go off of and I wasn't sure how deep the water was. So I was gonna water check uh, the depth, but we're starting to get bit up or swarmed by these uh, black flies, which seem like they're coming out at night. So we're just heading back to the beginning of the trail, which is totally fine. We got a long hike tomorrow, lots of great sights. We can spend more time and hopefully get started earlier in the day before the bugs come out. So we're loving it, guys. Absolutely gorgeous view so far. What do you think? Laugh. Laugh. Live. <laughs> All right, guys, we are ending our day here near Miner's Castle, which is a nice little overlook viewpoint over Lake Superior and the Grand Island in the background. A perfect place to come for a sunset because, hey, you don't have the ocean, you don't have the Pacific Ocean, and you can't see a California sunset, but you can see an upper Michigan, an upper peninsula sunset here uh, by Miner's Castle. And as you can see, the sun is setting over the lake. It's a beautiful red and orange sort of hue, and you can see the pictured rocks. Uh, looming down below over where the waves are crashing into them. You can see all the different layers and colors that the sandstone provides. Yeah, Who's views? Because there's people on. Oh, okay. So we're loving it here, guys. We're in an amazing day at Pictured Rocks. With a great view of a sunset. One of the classic ways to do it in the Wanderlust Walmart channel. So thanks for watching, guys. Check out our adventures coming soon because this is only just getting started here at Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. Peace. This is some of the best hiking I've ever done. No, it's the best hiking I've ever done in the state. Magnificent, honestly. I'm just speechless right now. This place just keeps on giving. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Just really enjoy such a unique beach in Upper Peninsula of Michigan. 70 foot waterfall emptying right into Lake Superior. Absolutely unreal, guys. Oh my goodness.